Well, United States Naval forces say they intercepted a fishing vessel in the Gulf of Oman after they discovered it was smuggling more than 2,000 AK-47 assault rifles while transitioning in international waters along a maritime route from Iran to Yemen. Let's bring in Mike Wagenheim, I-24 News' senior U.S. correspondent. Mike, what's going on? Uh, this is the third time now in about two months that the U.S. forces have intercepted the weapons being smuggled on a route traditionally used by Iran to uh, get weapons and other uh, illicit uh, materials to the Houthi rebels there in Yemen. We're talking about almost 2,200 AK-47 assault rifles. This happened just a few days ago, back on January the 6th. It involved a couple of patrol ships and uh, a guided missile destroyer uh, that converged on this fishing vessel manned by six Yemeni nationals. All of them apparently have been repatri repatriated now uh, to Yemen. Uh, the U.S. Fifth Fleet has basically been using everything at their disposal uh, to try to cut off uh, these uh, weapons vessels that uh, have been disguised as fishing vessels, uh, they intercepted uh, rocket fuses, chemicals used for rocket fuel, ammunition, did the whole boat uh, over the last uh, two, two and a half months or so. Later on today, uh, we're going to hear a little bit more from the commander of U.S. Naval Forces in the Middle East, who will give an update on this experimental unit called Task Force 59, which has been used uh, to uh, implement unmanned sea drones that have been used for surveillance throughout the Middle East. It's apparently been successful, uh, as, uh, as indicated by these increasing uh, number of seizures we've seen over the last few months. It'll be interesting to hear more about the uh, success of Task Force 59. We anticipate uh, that briefing being held a little bit later on today at a conference in Texas.